Here's your new iPad. Please press the home button to wake it up and swipe your finger across the bottom there. First page you come across is what language would you like? The default is English, so leave that checked. In the top right hand corner you'll see an arrow key in the blue. Click that please. Country or region? The United States is the default, so touch the show more. Choose Canada and then click on next in the top right. Choose your Wi-Fi. That would be wired ESPS for staff and students if you could. And just type in your board login please. And then click join. You'll get a certificate page that shows up next if you could just click on accept. And it will continue joining the Wi-Fi network. It may take a moment as it recognizes it. Once it does, you'll see the next button in the top right has turned blue. Please click on that. Activate your iPad, which goes fairly quickly. Next page is Location Services. We're suggesting Enable Location Services and Next. Your choice here, if you want to set it up as a new iPad or restore it. If this is the first iPad that you're opening up, then we suggest setting it up as a new iPad. Uh, if this is one that you are trying to restore from a previous backup, then that's the iTunes backup. So and then I'm going to go by set up as new iPad and next your Apple ID. We suggest that you had the Apple ID already set up on a computer. It's the easiest way to go. So click on sign in with an Apple ID and put in the email address that you used to set up your iTunes account. And of course, uh, including your iTunes password, not the password you use to get into the board. And next. Terms and conditions, the agree button is in the bottom right, and then a pop-up window will come up that you'll have to agree to as well. Set up iCloud, uh, we're going to ask that you not use iCloud, it just does not work in our situation. And click next. Messaging, if you have a phone number or email address associated with your uh, iTunes account, then it will show up here, let other pe people reach you at, and then has it there for you. If you choose to not do that, uh, you can only uncheck all but one of those check marks. So uh, that's okay though, we can change that later on. I'll walk you through that later on and click next. Siri, uh, use Siri, that can be quite helpful. And next, diagnostics, your choice if you want to automatically send or don't send. Next, and you're ready to start using your iPad. So good luck with that. If you have any questions, please contact your digital literacy resource teacher and have a look for part two where we talk about settings and restrictions. Thanks. Have a great day.